it's been another week and we're back in the office again I never keep the back in the office again part maybe I'll keep it this week so it's been one of those days it's been one of those editing days where like no matter how hard you work on it or like how long you keep at it it seems to take forever and I've been working on this scene for like hours and it's just because there's so much footage and so many things going on and it was like a two-day shoot and so I'm just going a little stir crazy today. So let's look at something peaceful. I shot that a couple weeks ago. So peaceful if you're not driving in it and you're inside where it's warm. So the guy who plays Damon on the show, our main villain, is also our composer. He does some of the music that people ask about quite often. Like he wrote this song. And of course he wrote this song. He did this one, which I use a lot. I must have chased her for a few blocks and I couldn't catch her. By the time she lost me, I had no idea where I was. And this one I use all the time. Try to like pointing like two fingers like, like he's been making music for most of his life and he is currently doing an Indiegogo campaign right now for a CD and DVD of a show that he did with his uh, friend Scott Can't you see that little girl crying? Wade's project is the top link in the dupes. Check it out if you want. It's gonna be a good one. Gonna be a good one. Um, myself and Tim and my buddy Leroy, we were the ones shooting for the DVD that's going to be coming out. It was a really good show. Check it out if you want to hear some good music. Also, thank you everybody coming out and voting for me for the next TV directing competition. The voting competition is gonna continue until March 17th and there's a guy uh, like a few spaces below me who just like whew, took off and got like a gajillion votes over this last week. If you haven't voted yet and you want to vote, the link is still in the dubs. Last week's question was how did you get your username? And a lot of people came out and answered. I was surprised by how many people's usernames came from characters that they were creating for a story that they wrote or a novel that they wrote or some whatever, some character name that they made up became their username on YouTube. And I think that's very cool. I actually, on my blog TV name is one of the characters that I created a while ago. Other things that popped up a lot were, of course, nicknames. People using real-life nicknames as their YouTube usernames. And then there were a few people who didn't even choose their own usernames. Like, they took over other people's YouTube accounts as they fell into disuse or whatever, and they just took it over. This week's question has to do with the voting competitions. Because, like, as that guy, like, shot past me in the voting, I started thinking about entering us in other voting competitions. Like, there's this one competition that's like a trailer competition, and I think a couple of the Pops trailers are really good. And like you can actually win money in that one. Since that's become such a thing for people to do, like if you're part of a competition, you have to rally the audience. And I was wondering how you guys feel about that turn of events. Like are you getting sick of people asking you to vote for stuff? Me personally, if somebody I watch asks me to go check something out and vote for it, I always go. And then if I have to sign up for anything, I don't do it. <laughs> like that's, that's where I draw the line. If I have to register for the website or like give my email address or anything, if it's just like a random voting thing, I do it all the time. How do you guys feel about it? Because it's coming up more and more often. Are you sick of having to vote for people's stuff or are you still feeling good about it. You can just answer yes or no. Yes, I'm tired of it, or no, it's fine. Check out Swade's Indiegogo campaign if you want to see what he's up to. Awesomeness. And I will see you guys next week when hopefully editing will feel like it's moving a little faster and I'm not like, ugh, a little so crazy.